guys, it's Karen. Um, I had gastric bypass surgery on June 5th, 2015. Um, my high weight was 347 pounds. Um, today, eight months, or nine months later, <laughs> I weigh 210 pounds. Okay, wait, what? Like 210 more pounds until I'm in Wonderland. I cannot believe it. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is I just watched my last video and I can't even believe how much 10 pounds, how much of a difference 10 pounds makes. Like it's crazy to me. Um, even just in my face, in my clothes, um, the clothes that I was wearing before, even in the last video fall off of me. Uh, I can't, can't wear them anymore. I'm now a size 16. I was a size 32 at my highest. I am now a size 16. People, that means two more sizes and I'm in a 12. I don't even know what is happening. Um, I had a checkup on Thursday. I've lost 138 pounds since surgery day. And like I said, I'm nine months out. And my surgeon was very, very proud of me. Um, however, the last month I've had a pretty bad plateau, but that's my fault. I've been, um, I'm really good about sugar. I stay away from sugar and I, I, and I, um, I haven't fully dumped. I think I halfway dumped one night. I just really wanted some ice cream. Um, and I just didn't feel great afterwards. I don't think I, I mean, I've seen my mom dump. My mom had the surgery as well. And she's like, miserable. Mine was nothing like that. Um, I just was kind of feeling crappy for a little while. Um, and then it kind of passed, but, um, I've thrown up twice since surgery from just eating the wrong things. One's with, one was from pasta. Um, and then another one was, I don't even remember, but, um, I'm, I'm not good at though. Carbs kind of get me. I can't eat bread to save my life. Cannot even put it in my tummy. Um, but like potatoes and rice go down really easy. And so I eat those more than I should. Um, and I'm really, really bad about my water. If any of y'all have any tips on how to get your water in, let me know. And it's not like I'm drinking soda or juice or something else. I just don't drink. Um, I really, really need to do it. And I try to be good. Like I'll fill up my water bottle at work and it'll be sitting on my desk right in front of my face and I don't even touch it all day. So it's horrible. So if you guys have found anything that works for you, leave it in a comment below because I am having issues. I need help. Um, this journey has been insane. There have been really, really, really highs and really, really, really low lows. Um, I think that it really takes an emotional toll on you. It's a mind screw like you would not believe, especially for ladies out there. Well, I, I mean, what do I know? I bet even for married ladies who have never had attention from guys, it's got to be hard um, or like screws with your mind. Um, for me especially... I just kind of feel like, what was wrong with me before? I'm still the same person. I, I haven't, I personally haven't changed at all my personality or anything like that. I mean, yes, I am happier. Um, I'm more confident. I'm not all the way there yet, but we're getting there. Um, so it, it's just crazy. Like, it's crazy what your mind and your body go through on this journey. Um I would do it again in a heartbeat if I didn't lose another pound. Um, but there have been really hard lows. Um, you know, there was a time right after surgery where if you've watched my previous videos, I literally could not eat anything. Everything just sat like right here and it hurt. And I was miserable for probably about a month. Um, that passed. Um, you know, if any of you out there are thinking about doing this surgery, it is a huge commitment and adjustment. Huge. It changes the rest of your life if you're going to use the tool properly. Um, however, it is the best thing I have ever done in my life. Um, it's kind of funny. I might have shared this story with you um, before, but at Christmas time, um, we were eating Christmas dinner. And I think it was very telling to me because my siblings, I'm one of six kids. 
and we're all eating Christmas dinner and you know, I have my little baby plate with my little tiny baby portions, which is fine with me because that fills me up. My tummy and my brain tell me you're full stop. It's not like your tummy tells you you're full and your brain's like, but I'm still hungry. I still want to eat. I still want to, you know, um, you know, sometimes I do get cravings for crap that I shouldn't eat. And sometimes I fulfill those cravings to be completely honest. Most of the time I don't, I'm pretty disciplined. Um, but anyway, so we're sitting down at Christmas dinner, you know, and I get my little tiny piece of turkey, a little tiny green beans. And my brand new sister-in-law was like, don't you sometimes wish that you could just turn the surgery off that you like had a button or on certain meals that you could just be like, Oh, I just want to go hog wild. And I was like, I really thought about it. And I said, you know what? No, because honestly, with this surgery, your mind and your tummy are satisfied. Um, and I think that if you had the ability to turn it on and off or pick and choose when you wanted to use it, you would just sabotage yourself. Like, what's the point? You know, um, it's just kind of crazy to me that I really had to think about that. Like, would I, if I had that option, would I turn it on and off? No, I wouldn't. Um, I think maybe if the situation were different and um, my tummy said I was full, but my brain didn't, and then I had overeating problems and or I had this problem, but I don't. And I know that some people do struggle with that. I know that some people struggle with um, my tummy never gets full or my brain never tells me that my tummy's full. You know, I have heard many, many stories and things like that. Um, I also did ask the surgeon about skin removal surgery because I have a large apron. I affectionately call it my biff, my butt in front, um, to the point where I've lost so much weight now that if you look at me from the waist down in a mirror, you can't tell if I'm a boy or a girl. Um, my apron completely covers my genitalia. Um, and it really bothers me. Like I have these these things right here that are just like saggy, disgusting, like side boot, like literally like side boobs. Um, my tummy, like all this stuff, my arms, I can show you my arms. They're, they're pretty gross. They're just really, especially if I flex cause I've been working out. Mm. Um, but I still have, you know, this much skin that I can grab. That's just hanging there and, um, the lighting's not great, but it's all, um, um, stretch marked up. I mean, it's, it's getting bad, but I did go to my surgeon and he gave me, I, my, my surgeon and he gave me some really good advice. He, he said that, um, the thing that he finds is that plastic surgeons will do anything whenever you want. So I could go to a plastic surgeon today and say, oh, you know, my apron really bothers me and I want to get it removed and they'll remove it for you. He said, the problem with that is that if I were to go to a plastic surgeon and have my apron and my arms and everything done, and I still have about 60 pounds left to lose, um, I'm going to be really unsatisfied with the result. And then that's when you get that hangy skin and you feel like they didn't get enough. You know, like, oh, they didn't get enough. Well, yeah, no crap, Sherlock, because you didn't lose all your weight that you could have. Um, you were too hasty. So I honestly was like, I just want to go get this removed now. And after talking to my surgeon and really talking it out and talking about the pros and cons, he's like, yeah, sure. You can go do that tomorrow if you wanted to, but I guarantee you will not be happy with the result. You'll have to go back and do it again once you get the rest of your weight off. And then the result won't be as good the second time just because you didn't wait and really lose yourself in losing the weight and really, really trying to get it all off before you do that the first time. Um, because I'm not going to lie, I want to jump the gun and go do it right now. Um, but I think after talking to my surgeon, he talked some sense into me and I was like, okay, I get it. Um, so anyways, I can't believe this is already going on nine minutes. I'm going to wrap it up. If you guys have any questions or like I said, if you have any advice on me for me about drinking water, um, how to do it better, let me know, please. I'm just struggling so bad with water. Anyways. Um, and if, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm more than happy to talk. I'm more than happy to answer any questions or, um, you know, if, if anything, I'm more than happy. Um, have a wonderful weekend and hopefully I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.